What is up y'all, Lunchbox5930 here. A bit different involving the kind of content that this video is, but hey, I wanted to talk about this. The AKB48 Cafe is actually closing its doors at the end of the year on December 31st, 2019. Now the reason they are closing is not because AKB48 is suffering or that it's not as popular, which with the rise of anime idols and alt idols, the market for AKB48 really isn't there, but you know, it's still pretty strong. The real reason it's closing down is because the Akihabara JR station is actually being remodeled. If you never visited Akihabara, first of all, do it. It's super fun. The AKB48 Cafe is literally right next to the JR station. There is, I believe, like one or two other businesses between the actual station and the cafe, but it's like, it's like right there. Super close. Anyways, according to the blog of the cafe, we would like to express our heartfelt thanks to the many customers who have been there for about eight years since the opening on September 29, 2011. AKB48 Cafe and Shops Online and AKB48 Cafe and Shops Passport will also end on the same day. There will be only a few remaining weeks until the store closes as we will be open for customers to enjoy. So thank you for your continued patronage. We are currently considering a new location and we look forward to seeing you again. That last bit is kind of important because there is a possibility that they are going to reopen in another location. So it's not dead entirely. Plus we still have the actual theater, you know, that's still open. But it does suck that we are losing this landmark of Akihabara, at least for the time being. It does make sense that the JR station would want to expand because Akihabara is like one of those spots that people go to Japan to visit. The cafe opened up in 2011 and they have casual meals and desserts as well as a merchandise shop that sells exclusive merch for the group. When I went, they had a lot of individual merch and I didn't purchase anything. No wait, actually, hold up one sec. Oh, uh, that was a lie. I actually bought this newspaper there, which uh, is a thing. Uh, this is pretty much just, it's just like a photo book of like AKB48, but it's printed on a newspaper. Really odd. Odd, but I like weird niche things like that. I do have one question though. Is the Gundam Cafe also closing down? Because that's literally right next door to the AKB Cafe. As of writing and recording this, uh, the Gundam Cafe hasn't made any statement involving their closure. Real quick, Koisuru Fortune Cookie, Heavy Rotation, Love Trip, High Tension, Give Me Five, and Jia Ba Jia. No one asked, but there you go. Well, either way, AKB48 still lives on. Huh? What's that? Minami Minegishi is leaving AKB48? Oh shit. So that means the last remaining original member of AKB48 is actually leaving. If you don't know how AKB48 works, this is a super condensed version of it. When a member leaves, they graduate and their spot is taken by someone else. That way they always have like someone in the group and it's not just an empty spot. Now AKB48 originally started with only 20 members during its formation in December 8th, 2005 and they gradually gathered more and more members. The top ones being Atsuko Maeda, Haruna Kajima, and <laughs> Rino Sashihara. I like to thank the dudes at New School Kaiden for this shirt. <laughs> I love this shirt so much. Okay, so who is this girl? She started in Team A in 2005, which again, one of the original members. She is one of the members of NO3B and she does like variety shows and commercials. She's really well known and she has like that face that you're like, I know her from somewhere. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, she does like typical idol stuff. You know, she sings, she has a photo book. Not really sure if she's gonna pursue a solo career after graduating though. Okay, fine. Here's the real reason people know her. In January 31st, in 2013, a tabloid reported that she spent the night at the apartment of one of the members of a group called Exile Tribe. Because of that, she was demoted from Team B to a Kenkyusei, which is a trainee. So you're like part of the group, but not really. Then on the same day, on the official AKB48 YouTube channel published a video of Minegishi with her head shaved off crying profusely, apologizing to her fans about her thoughtless behavior, and saying that she hopes that management will let her stay in the group. This story went global, and honestly, sadly on top of that, this was my introduction to her. Personally, I did like AKB48, but like, she was always kind of like in the background, and even when she was like in uh, AK Bingo, like one of the main like, idols in the forefront of like the certain episode, I'm like, I guess she's fine. More of a Reno guy, but whatever. Anyways, yeah, the story did go global, and I'm sure that you have heard of it. Idolism is a whole different beast that I really do not agree with for certain aspects. 
like one of the main things is that the strong strict rules that the idols have to abide by and it's almost like infringing on their right to have a life outside of work although there are certain things in the j-pop industry that i don't agree with the k-pop industry i completely disagree with anyway that's not even getting into the fucked up shit that most of the fans have done to the idols which it could be a video in itself like seriously <laughs> y'all need to chill sadly again because of what happened to her this is the reason she is mostly well known which is a really damn shame because she is actually a really good singer. Anyways, her last show is going to be on April 2nd, 2020 in the Yokohama Arena. Fuck, dude. This is a depressing episode. Can I get some idol news that isn't like, you know, fucking heart-wrenching? Huh? A McDonald's ad? Okay, so... <laughs> Atsuko Maeda, who was an AKB48 and actually arguably one of the more famous uh, idols that came out of AKB48. Ayana Taketatsu, who voices Lifa and Sword Art Online and Azusa from Kaon, And Aimi from Bang Dream, all star in this little commercial where three girls go eat at a McDonald's while singing a jaunty tune. The food looks fucking delicious and the little McDonald's jingle that they do at the end, super cute. <laughs> What has my channel become? So this is a really weird video. I really do like AKB48. And again, those songs that I listed, some of my favorites. And I just wanted to kind of go outside of my comfort realm of doing White Shores content and just kind of broaden my horizons a bit. And yeah, if you guys like this, go ahead and give it a like, throw a comment, share if you want. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more idol anime McDonald's content. This has been Lunchbox5930 with Casually White Shores, and I'll see y'all in the next one.